So hello everyone, welcome back. Now let us start problem number 3.30, which is on page number 250, uh, 156 of Griffith's Electrodynamics. So we are saying that we we are we have derived the exact potential for spherical shell of radius r, and which carries it is spherical shell or it is r which carries surface charge sigma is equal to k cos theta. So we need to calculate the dipole moment for the charge q. So first of all, uh, dipole moment for the uh, continuous charges, I hope you know that it is given as R dQ and uh, R, R, is called, R is the X, R contains X, Y, Z, all three and which are, give, which are given by R sin theta cos phi plus R, oh sorry, R cos theta sin phi and R cos theta. So these are the values of uh, X, Y, Z. And if you calculate uh, P uh, for, we can write X i cap, Y j cap, Z k cap, and dQ, dQ is uh, sigma dA, so sigma into what is dA? R square sin theta d theta d phi. If you calculate uh, uh, X and Y terms, you will get zero because of the phi uh, terms present over here. And the limit for phi r 0 to 2 pi, these are the common terms which you know from the vector algebra. And for theta, it is 0 to pi. Now calculating p for only z, z component will, will be uh, left. And sig, uh, sigma is, sorry, let us put the value of z to here. So z is given by uh, r cos theta. You can take this r as capital, it doesn't matter. And sigma is k cos theta, which is given in the question, r square sin theta d theta d phi with a double integration because of surface area. It becomes, so this is, can be written as r because dr is not here. So r cube cos square theta sin theta d theta and d phi limit 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi. And one k also there, this k I left. So it is it is given by r cube k into 2 pi and this integration 0 to pi cos square theta sin theta, theta d theta. And this is the standard integral. If you calculate, just put the value of put cos theta is equal to t and then integrate, you can easily get and uh, uh, you can easily get this uh, in, uh, integral as 2 by 3 actually. So we get 4 pi r cube k by 3. So this is the net dipole moment. This will come out to be 2 by 3. Try at your home, try uh, making calculation, uh, 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 making your calculation more fast and the dipole moment we are calculated. Then he is asking potential. So potential V is given by P cos theta over 4 pi epsilon naught r square. I hope you know that from this formula. I also discussed this formula in my last video. You can just go and check it out. P is 4 pi r cube k cos theta. This I am putting the value. This is r and this is k upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square. So on evaluating, we get r cube k cos theta upon epsilon naught r square. So this is the value of potential in the uh, for the uh, appropriate I, I guess he's asking appropriate for yeah appropriate potential and the points from far uh, far away from the sphere so this is far away that's why dipole and compare with the exact result you can compare it it matches exactly now the other thing if the potential um, matches exactly then higher multiples multiples will uh, become zero this this is the thing that if you read the Griffith book he'll let you know so he's asking about the other higher multiple uh, multiples. So all higher multiples are zero because V matches directly with the uh, exact result. Exact potential or result. All right. So this is all. This is all for the video. Uh, the, the, a quick suggestion. Suggestion is that 
you need to uh, make strong uh, your uh, calculation part and these values these limits are really important and integration should also be on your tips and these standard integral uh, if you are if integration is on your tips then standard integral will make your life really easy if you know these values so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye good night